Biden says new gun controls likely won't end shooting. Come on, man. We pay these turds to tell us the obvious. Well, if Biden says it, they won't end, but at least they're trying something. Department of Homeland Security busting plain old gun collectors, MSNBC urging viewers to boycott gun manufacturers, Bank of America freezing funds of a licensed firearms manufacturer, lawmakers demanding that gun retailers stop selling the dark guns. And Walmart and Dick Sporting Goods do it, suspending kids from schools for Lego and pink bubble guns. People are already getting busted for illegal magazines in New York. Alitarianism is riding high on the hog. Look at the whole Patriot Acts and the National Defense Authorization Acts. They'll focus most all of their resources on the law abiding citizen. Free speech, we in and where we tell you. Freedom of the press, search Operation Mockingbird. Privacy, <laughs> not in your life. And you are guilty until proven innocent, and that's if you get a trial at all. Protected from illegal search and seizure. Get out of the car. Now, sir, we're gonna have to check that colostomy bag. <laughs> don't you see, people? And if you don't, get them, Bruce. <laughs> and oh my goodness, every time I say anything about the Israeli government, I get ambushed. Feel like I'm at the United Nations or something. And if I don't mention them, I'm still gonna get attacked. You're just a Zionist traitor there changed the channel. And I'm like, what? Or it's like, you leave Israel alone, change the channel. They've been through enough. And I'm like, what? Look, I'm gonna call a fool a fool, and nobody gets to get out of jail free card. And if I have not to mention the fool of your choosing, sorry, I'm talking about these other fools. And bottom line, if you don't like it, change the channel. <laughs> IRS announces Obamacare bronze plan, aka bare minimum, will cost twenty thousand dollars a year per family by 2016. What? Twenty k a year? And these fools then lost their mind. <laughs> People don't realize what the whole Obamacare is really doing to people like me. Millions upon millions of people like me falling through the cracks lost in a country of people who already have and get to keep theirs and the people who will receive the free care. We make too much money to get the free care but not enough to afford the mandate. So we will be being harassed by the IRS over a penalty fine. Supreme Court says it's a tax but the IRS, but the IRS, the IRS says it's a penalty. Either way, it doesn't make any difference to us. All we know is they'll be expecting us to pay them. And you know that after that, the price of the bronze plan will be going up, making it almost impossible, minus hitting the lottery or something, to ever get. And I'm sure that fine and tax and penalty, whatever you want to call it, will be going up each year as well. Affordable health care. <laughs> More like another episode of The Rich Get Richer and The Poor Get Poorer. All the while, continuously kicking us down the ladder further and further, making it harder for us to survive without their nanny handout. <laughs> you notice that no other society in human history has imprisoned so many of its citizens as we do here in the U.S. Why? Gotta be money. <laughs> Somehow, crime goes down, but the jail population goes up. Imagine that. IBM, Boeing, Motorola, Microsoft, AT&T, Wireless, Texas, Instrument, Dell, Compact, Honeywell, Howard Packard, Nortel, Lucent Technology, 3Com, Intel, Northern Telecom, TWA, Nordstrom's, Revlon, Macy's, Target and on and on and on and on have did their patriotic duty keeping jobs here in the good old USA. Legalized sweatshop labor. Everything that surrounds our existence is money based. If there's a tornado, somebody's getting paid. Ching. School shooting, somebody's getting paid. Ching. Terrorist attack, getting paid. Ching. Anarchy and panic in the streets, dogs sleeping with cats, getting paid. Ching. And nobody cares, nobody even pays attention. And it goes on and on every day right in front of our face with this flin flam performance that they don't even try to do convincingly anymore because they got the media to give us the one-liners pound that in our head that we will repeat over and over as though it's true drilling into everyone else's head around us until we're all in unison comfortably content with being obedient and complacent. It's all good. Everything is a-okay. Don't you see, people? And if you don't, get them, Bruce. Just something to think about. I've changed the channel. And I'm out.